a secret, no one to tell. I keep all my feathers inside of a shell. I let one by one out, one by one out. One or two spells inside of a shell. Hello everyone, Anna here from Eco Summit, and as you can see, we're in our first break. We have the next two days where we're going to report and let you know what's happening. Lots of networking, and we hope you stay tuned to find out some great stuff. Lillian is our Eco Summit ambassador, and so Lillian, can you tell us why you actually wanted to become an ambassador for Eco Summit? Uh, I went to the Code to N competition with you and where I saw a lot of these sort of clean tech or um, environmentally friendly startups and um, it inspired me. How would you describe the atmosphere of the mood right now or the, the mood of the, the atmosphere right now? Um, I find it quite serious. Um, I think that people here are, are serious about clean tech and they're serious about both sides of it, whether they're the ones with the ideas, the ones who believe that they can change the world, or the people who are the venture capitalists and they're looking for these people. Andreas, can you tell us what Solar Kiosk is? Solar Kiosk is a business enabler in rural off-grid areas Africa and all developing countries. We have uh, some uh, more than a dozen kiosks out in Ethiopia and Kenya. They all run profitably. They all have already paid back the initial investment. And uh, the catchment area of each of those kiosks is around 5,000 to 20,000 people. That's, that's what you reach with them. We are very cost efficient and we cure the problems right where they are. Uh, the company was actually founded in 2006 and uh, for our target market, uh, data communications, we have a, a really big customer, a world leading provider of networking and telecommunications equipment. But now this year we are actually launching, launching something completely new for the big data analytics market. So that's going to be really exciting and that's one of the reasons that we are here today. Okay. And next to me I have Kojima-san who was the Facebook winner of the Eco Summit voting. And, uh, Kojima-san, how do you feel? Oh, I was very happy, so I appreciate for our users and uh, other sponsors or something, you know. It's really appreciate, you know. Alexander, can you tell me uh, why do you come to EcoSubit? I'm actually here to find co-investors for some of our cases. We've funded some 55 clean tech cases over the years from the Swedish Energy Agency. Some of them need follow-on funding and so on. Okay, so how do you go about doing that? Well, it's about basically getting to know the investors who might be potentially uh, injecting money into these companies. Do you feel as though you have uh, made some good connections already? Absolutely, there's a few corporate investors here that I think are very suitable for our companies, yeah. Uh, what kind of projects can you tell us about? Can you give us some examples so our viewers know what it is you're, you're dealing with? Yeah, sure, it's, it's, a big, it's a wide variety, I would say, but a lot of them are actually within energy efficiency. So uh, making something more efficient for a big industrial process is a typical company, like, um, making sure there's less material used in the steel industry, using some smart IT technology or uh, adding something to the solar industry that makes the panels more efficient. Those are typically things we found. This is Anna from Eco Summit. I'm with Taria Teppo from Clean Tech Invest. And Taria, can you tell me what is Clean Tech Invest? We are a Helsinki-based early stage clean tech investor. Um, we currently have 12 companies in our portfolio. So we um, we invest in clean tech broadly, um, with the um, the main uh, focus areas being material and energy efficiency. And um, we sort of geographical focus, so that's Nordics and Baltics uh, mainly. I mean, obviously we can sort of, we are not completely tied to that, but that's our main focus area. How come you guys came here if you're focusing on the Nordic or Baltics? Is there a different form of exchange that's happening here? Well, I'm actually in the advisory board of the Eco Summit, so that's one of the reasons. But also, 
if you look at the Nordic countries, not just Finland, but Nordic countries and Baltics, um, there's lot, lots of interesting, um, promising clean tech companies. But for all of them, the markets are really outside of the Nordics. Um, so when it comes to sort of the um, the follow-up fun- financing rounds of these companies, we have actually two of our portfolio companies are here presenting, Savo Solar and Orikane. Um, Orikane from Sweden and Savo Solar from Finland. So it's sort of the financing round, um, but but not just that. I mean, it's it's basically when you look at here. I mean, there's a lot of corporates, there's other startups that could be partners, and basically just to get the feel of um, what people are talking about here. Um, so I mean, last week I was in uh, there was the clean tech Scandinavia venture happening in Malmo. It's nice to get perspective, you know, right, what's right. what's happening sort of um, some 500 kilometers away. Right, so. Right. So in your experience now, uh, do you feel so it is quite easy to get funding money or has that become more difficult in recent times? There's clearly a, a shortage of private money. Private capital is, is uh, scarce, mm-hmm. especially if you have something that you need to scale up quite rapidly where you need a lot of money. Uh, fortunately, the public money and the industrial actors have stepped in a little bit, but the, the, the pu- pure play private VCs are uh, in reality becoming fewer and fewer. So that's the challenge for the companies. I'm actually here with the father, the big daddy of Eco Summit, um, Jan Hess, and uh, we thought we'd do a little interview and see how, how we're, what did you sense about the Eco Summit this year? Well, it's our, it was our fifth event and uh, second time that we do it here in Berlin at the Radial System. 190 participants and I think uh, from what I heard, everybody more than happy. Some very important people told me we are the best event in Europe. Oh, that's great. And it makes me pretty proud. Well, we just keep getting better. That's yeah. the big change. <laughs> Kaizen, the Japanese call it, continuous improvement. Yes. And But the real change is really the community building, the relationships. So um, I basically know almost everybody coming here personally. I even remember their first names. <laughs> I was going to say that's amazing because every time someone has a question, you actually address them by their yeah. first name. Yeah. That's really amazing. Yeah. And I think that, you know, having a great host on stage makes a huge difference. Yeah. And then um, these people come and, and, and I meet them um, not for the first time, but I don't know for how many times, but we really start understanding and they are very honest and they tell me anecdotes even in the breaks and on stage uh, they are telling the truth they are very honest mm-hmm. and i think the, basically the result is that the the quality of the content on stage but also the quality in the conversations among the participants is getting better yeah. so i think over time the quality is getting better and we also have a very high startup density and VC density at the event. Yeah, the only people who are actively in the business, who are very active in the business, come to Eco Summit, they have to pay. Yeah, nobody's here on a, on a free ride. Yeah, even the ambassadors are working part of their time and um, to, to be part of this community, you cannot easily access it. Yeah, you have to be smart and green to be part of it. Mm-hmm.